RWS high velocity, it blew the lid off and it's torn a hole on exit there, as you can see there with the hollow point. Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm continuing on with my beginner series on understanding and selecting 22 ammunition. Now guys, I get asked this a fair bit um, because you know there's no doubt a lot of you who are getting into shooting are going to buy a 22 rifle. You know, it just seems to be the most popular first rifle that a person gets when they get into shooting. And for good reason. I mean, the ammunition is fairly cheap. You know, there's no uh, heavy recoil. There's no, um, you know, really big heavy blast the noise. You know, it's quite bearable. Um, so there's a lot of positives that attract new shooters to a 22. Not to mention that you can just learn the basic concept um, and principles of shooting on a 22. So what happens is a lot of people go into a gun shop and they really are just overwhelmed with the amount of 22 ammunition that's available. And they have no idea what they should buy, what they shouldn't buy. What you need to do is think about what your use is. And to me, there's three main uses, match, plinking, and hunting. So in other words, if you're doing match, I mean, pretty self-explanatory, means that you're going in competition shooting and you want very accurate ammunition that you're going to get good uh, scores with. Plinking to me is just, you know, you can be at a range, just having a shoot with your 22 for a bit of fun, nothing too serious, or you're out on a property and you're just putting up a can or whatever, just, just having a little bit of fun. And last of all, hunting, um, which obviously is going out, you know, you might be going for rabbits, you might be, um, you know, shooting foxes at the correct distance with the correct shot placement. So the different uh, projectile types that you'll get with 22 will depend on what your use is. A lot of match ammunition will be um, a solid or round nose uh, projectile because obviously it doesn't need to be a hollow point to open up in a uh, hunting situation. Now plinking ammunition, depending on what you're doing, same thing. I mean, a lot of the time, you know, you'll just have round nose ammunition for plinking um, or you might want to use, you know, um, high velocity hollow points for example because you want to see those cans really explode when you hit them um, that sort of thing now the uh, hunting always or pretty much always you will be using uh, hollow points unless of course you're uh, you know shooting for pelts and you want minimal pelt damage so you'll just use a solid round nose for that so it just depends on what your actual use is as to what type of ammunition that you uh, choose now let's start off from the bottom this is the uh, in the category of uh, Zeds or reduced charge. Now you've got a couple of different brands. I've only got two here available, which is um, SKZ reduced charge, and we've got CCI quiet ammo. Now this ammunition is only moving anywhere from around about 700 to 800 feet per second. So keep in mind the speed of sound is roughly 1100 feet per second. So it's well and truly under that uh, speed of sound. The result of that in real terms means that it just sounds very similar to an air rifle when it goes off, not very loud at all. But obviously the use of this particular ammunition is very limited. So let me just show you one of the rounds. Now in the reduced charge category, pretty much all of them are going to have a round nose, okay? Because they're not really a, um, uh, a round that's moving quick enough to open up, you know, if they had a hollow point. Now, in saying that, to probably confuse you a little bit, CCI Quiet Ammo have also released a hollow point recently, but I see it's very expensive, okay? So it would be a very unique reason why you would need it. Um, for me, I'm just happy with just the standard round nose in the CCI Quiet. It does the job for what it is, and um, you know, it doesn't make a heap of noise, okay? So uh, your reasons for having this would be, you know, if you want to shoot targets, I mean, geez, I'd, I'd only be shooting... Um, you know, targets from like 10 to 25 yards, honestly. After that, the trajectory on these, um, you know, it just tapers off too much. And uh, keep in mind, it's very, very similar to an air rifle, okay? So it's not something you're gonna be shooting out to, uh, you know, 100 yards or over. Uh, on the topic of like hunting, I mean, um, you wouldn't really take a lot of game with this. Um, this would be the sort of round, honestly, if you wanted to clean up a few cane toads in the uh, in the backyard, that sort of thing, um, you know, this would be the ideal you know, round for that because it is quiet, it's not going to over-penetrate, it's going to do the job. I wouldn't really be looking at taking rabbits or anything like that with this round. I, I just wouldn't do it. Um, maybe some large rats running around the shed in the, you know, in the in the backyard of the farm, like that sort of thing. 
you know, but even then you'd have to watch out with these for actual over penetration on, on something that's the size of a rat. Um, plinking wise guys, ideal if you're, you know, you've got some youngsters and um, you're introducing them to shooting because obviously it doesn't make a whole heap of noise. You know, there's virtually no kick. Um, you know, it's not something that uh, they're going to pull the trigger on and then be holding their ears or, or it's going to frighten them. So, you know, it does have its purpose. Okay, so the next category that I've got here is the subsonic and standard velocity ammunition. Now, this ammunition um, is where you'll find all your target ammunition, okay? Very rarely will you find any target ammunition that's high velocity. And the reason for it is because um, when you're shooting out to longer distances, if you're using that subsonic ammunition, so what I'm talking about is ammunition that travels under the speed of sound. As it goes out, it's not going to become transonic. So in other words, what I mean is it's not going to travel from going faster than the speed of sound, like high velocity ammunition, back to subsonic or standard velocities, okay? Now it's proven that ammunition, when it does that, it, it does lose quite a bit of accuracy, okay? So what you'll find is accuracy will come from standard velocity ammunition or subsonics a lot more than high velocity, you know, um, when you're in a target setting or a match setting, and that's why people use them. So let me just run through a couple of different types here, okay? So we've got subsonic hollow points from RWS. Now RWS is a real favorite of mine, um, very high quality um, from Germany. So you can imagine, you know, you would expect some really good results with these. Now, these rounds have a little bit of a wax coating on them, and you'll find some 22 ammunition does have a wax coating, okay? Now, the idea behind that, or the belief behind it, is that the, um, the, the, the wax will actually come off in the barrel to lubricate it for constant travel and velocity. So you're supposed to get um, you know, better accuracy overall once that inside of your barrel is coated with the wax after a few shots. Obviously you'll find other ammunition that doesn't have that. Um, you know, Each to their own, it depends on what supply does what. But I find a lot of German ammunition has that wax coating, okay? Because it is very high quality, high grade. The next one I've got here is the uh, Federal Pre uh, Premium Target. Okay, very good round. Um, once again, target ammunition, you can see the round nose on it. It's not something that you would be out um, you know, hunting with as such. Then one of the most popular rounds out there is the CCI standard velocity. Now this is just a standard 40 grain uh, projectile. It's a round nose and it's just ideal for plinking, you know, practicing with matches, that sort of stuff. It is just a very, very popular round because it is probably one of the cheapest on the market. So in other words, if you are just wanting to get a round for plinking, you've just bought a 22, you just want to have a bit of fun, you know, go for some CCI standard because really you can't go wrong for the price. 40 grain moves at 1,070 feet per second, so it's not going to have a heap of noise and it's going to be very comfortable to shoot. Now, when you start going into some hunting ammunition, I would highly recommend RWS subsonic hollow points because obviously the hollow point will give you some expansion when you're shooting game. Very similar, we've got um, Winchester subsonic. This is the 42 grain max. Now, obviously a hollow point as well. And it's a little bit heavier, 42 grain, as opposed to the uh, 40 grain, which is probably the standard weight that you'll find in the 22. Now a uh, new kit on the block here is CCI Suppressor and I picked up a couple of packs of this just to have a bit of fun with, just to see how it goes. Um, look, even quieter than the standard velocity ammunition because this stuff here, as you can see here, is only moving at 970 feet per second. So very, very quiet. Um, it is a 45 grain uh, projectile and it is a hollow point. So the ballistics on this are pretty much the same as standard velocity ammunition because keep in mind the standard velocity ammunition is 40 grain, but this is 45 grain, okay? Moving a little bit slower, but by the time it hits its target, ballistic-wise, very similar to just the CCI standard ammunition in terms of uh, energy. Okay, so this sort of uh, stuff here, guys, is predominantly for match, um, you know, plinking, and hunting as well, um, but obviously if you're gonna be really going out long range, and when I say long range, I'm talking about, you know, for me, long range for a 22 is 100 yards, okay? Um, you're really not gonna be taking game over that because your shot placement and the energy just isn't sufficient in my view. 
Okay, so the next one we move on to is the high velocity ammunition. Now, high velocity ammunition is traveling over the speed of sound. Okay, so most of the high velocity ammunition you'll find will travel around about 1260 feet per second. Okay, that's pretty much the standard for high velocity, and then it goes up from there. So let's have a look at, this is once again one of my favorites, okay? I absolutely love the RWS high velocity hollow points. Really good, uh, they are a 40 grain hollow point. You do have that wax coating on them, so you know accuracy is fairly good from this ammunition I've found. And uh, not too badly priced, you know, you're looking about $10 a box I was getting these from Cleaver Firearms for. Then uh, you've got American Eagle, okay? Now this is a high velocity but it is a solid, so what would I use this for? Yes, you could try it in uh, competition shooting if you did get the accuracy from it, but uh, this sort of thing would be something that I'd shoot, you know, game for where I wanted to save the pelt. You know, I didn't want too much pelt damage, okay? But you've got to have the correct shot placement if you're going to go doing that. So in other words, what I mean is you need to make an instant and pretty much humane kill, um, you know, if you're going to use a round nose over a um, hollow point. One of the real popular um, ammunitions here for 22 is the Winchester PowerPoint. I'd say probably one of the most popular here in Australia. I remember growing up, we had the PowerPoints all the time. They were 40 grain. You can still get them in 40 grain, but now they make them in 42 grain with a little bit extra energy. Keep in mind too that these, um, these here are moving fairly quickly. As you can see there, 1320 feet per second and a 42 grain projectile, so you're getting a little bit more energy out of these than just a standard high velocity, okay? So they are a hollow point, they're copper plated. Um, you know, look, they're gonna do the job, provided they shoot accurately through your rifle. And keep in mind, guys, that 22s are, are pretty finicky, you know? Um, you'll have, like for example, I've got friends who swear by power points, you know, but I haven't had luck with them in my particular rifles or vice versa you know you've just got to find the right ammunition for your 22 so that means buying a box of all different types and just seeing what it likes and what it doesn't like so that's the high velocity stuff guys not so much for match um, you can if you can find some really accurate stuff like the rws high velocity um, you could use it for that for getting out to a little bit longer distances like the 100 yards with a fair bit of accuracy um, plinking, yeah, you can use it for plinking, um, and obviously, ideal, my main purpose for this would be hunting. You know, you can take rabbits, you can take foxes, um, you know, once again, within the correct distance, within that 100 yards and the correct shot placement, you can definitely do it with uh, high velocity hollow points in a 22. Now, the last category here is hyper velocity. Now, hyper velocity rounds are usually moving, you know, over that 1400 feet per second. Okay, now you can go right up to 1,850 feet per second now with the CCI Copper 22. Now, usually if you're going up into hyper velocity, they have a very lightweight projectile and a heap of charge behind them. So in this case, the Copper is uh, 21 grain and um, it's got a lot of charge behind it as well. So let me just show you that. Okay, so you can see there. Okay, it is a hollow point, a little 21 grain projectile and there's a lot of punch behind them. CCI Stingers, um, they're moving at 1,640 feet per second and they're a 32 grain hollow point. When these things go off, they make some noise, okay? Because obviously they're moving pretty quickly and they're really sounding very similar to a 22 Magnum when they go off. Um, there is a lot of noise behind them compared to, you know, just a standard high velocity or the standard or subsonic ammunition. And the last one that I've got here is CCI Velocita. Now this is a, a really ideal hunting round. 1,435 feet per second, but it's a 40 grain hollow point. So, you know, you're really starting to step it up here in, in the actual energy that this, um, you know, delivers. Okay, so you see there, hollow point, 40 grains, just a really good round if it shoots accurately through your rifle. This is one downside that I find with a lot of the hyper velocity stuff is it's not consistent, okay? It's um, getting up there with the speed. A lot of the time, the accuracy suffers a bit. But in saying that too, I've had different uh, firearms that have absolutely loved the Velocita. 
and then others that love the stingers as well. So you, once again, you've just got to try them out in your particular 22. Now, practical uses for these, I don't see it as a match round. I don't see it as a plinking round. I see these purely as a hunting round, okay? Depending on what you're hunting would depend on what you're actually using. Now, um, price-wise, guys, um, look, the hypervelocity stuff is reasonably expensive. As you can see there, look at the copper stuff there. For 50 rounds, you're paying $18.95 from cleavers, and everyone knows how cheap cleavers is with ammunition. So, you know, you're still paying a fair bit. Where, you know, let's go back to, like, standard velocity ammunition. You're paying about $4.50, $5 a box. Okay, so it's it's under a third of the cost to buy the standard CCI ammunition over some of the hypervelocity stuff. So you've really got to make the choice on what your actual use is and then what sort of ammunition you're going to use from there, okay? My advice, guys, is usually if you just want to... Um, get a decent match round look you know you can go right up and buy lapua ammo where you're paying like over 50 cents a shot for 22 for me that's just crazy um i find if you go to stuff like you know rws or you know go to sk not so much the reduced charge but the sk match ammunition um or even you know the federal gold medal match try that stuff because it's a hell of a lot more uh, cheaper and you get pretty much the same result with them now they're very very good rounds um, if you're into hunting obviously you want something that's going to be accurate a high velocity round um, you know try the rws try the winchester uh, try the american eagle stuff just just try whatever that uh, suits your budget and uh, obviously shoots accurately through your rifle. So anyhow guys, I hope you understand all that. Let's get out on the farm now because I wanna show you in reality the difference with the actual um, energy and the impact of a lot of these different rounds. All right guys, I've got four different types of ammo here in each of the four categories of 22 ammo. So we've got the SKZs, we've got CCI Standard, RWS High Velocity, and finally CCI copper in the hyper velocity. So what I've got is I've got a liter and a half uh, water bottle out there at 50, and I'm just gonna shoot each bottle with each individual round so you can see the difference for yourself. All right, so this is the first one that we shot with the Zeds guys. Now, it's gone straight through. Okay, so, you know, being a round nose instead of a hollow point, that's what I was talking about, it'll penetrate and it'll go through quite cleanly. Okay, so the holes on these are pretty clean. Then the next one was the CCI standard. Once again, <laughs> straight through. And you can see on that, the hole is fairly neat okay that's because the hollow point um, you know well sorry it's not a hollow point so unlike a hollow point it hasn't opened up you know and teared through it okay it's just gone straight through nice and clean then when we go to uh, the one we shot with the rws high velocity it blew the lid off and it's torn a hole on exit there as you can see there with the hollow point 
and emptied all the water out. So there's uh, you know, a fair bit of energy in those high velocity hollow points. Then finally, we got the uh, CCI copper. Now that's just punched straight through, opened up a bit on exit there as well, because it's a hollow point and hyper velocity. So pity I didn't hit it a bit higher, but that's where I had to aim, because I had to aim right down because it's shooting very high from where I've got the rifle sighted in, being such a fast round. So anyhow, I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea, guys, of the different bullet impacts and the difference in particular with um, hollow point versus solids. If you want something for hunting, definitely go for the hollow point that's going to open up and cause that uh, wound cavity over a uh, round nose or solid. So what we'll do now, guys, is I'll just run through the ammo consecutively, you know, without showing you or filming any target. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the Zeds and the standards high velocity and the copper so you can hear the difference on film. Okay, Zeds. Standard velocity, high velocity, hyper velocity. Right guys, so I've got a target out there at 50 yards and uh, what I'm going to do is just show you the differences in the bullet impact with the different categories of 22 ammo. So I'm going to aim a couple inches higher than the bullseye so that we can actually get on paper with the Zeds. And I'm going to go through the rest of them there just so you can see the differences with these particular types of ammunition. All right guys, so my point of aim was right here where the CCI standard hit. So we start off with the Zeds. That's how much they drop from that point of aim. Then the CCI standard was right on because that's where I had the uh, Lithgo sighted in for, 50 yards with standard velocity. Then the high velocity, so that's jumped up uh, about an inch and a half. And then the hyper velocity, look at that. You know, we've, we've jumped up what? We'd have one, two, three, four inches over the standard velocity. So that's just to demonstrate the differences and the bullet impact differences with the different uh, categories of 22 ammunition. Okay guys, I hope that's given you a good understanding and helped you out in choosing the correct 22 ammunition for your particular need. There's a whole different variety, isn't there, in 22 ammo. So next time that you go into the gun shop, make sure you choose the correct ammo for your particular purpose. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.